In today's how-to video, we'll be demonstrating how to reset your Windows 7 password without any special software or CDs. Let's get started. Now, we won't be using any kind of VM or screen capture for this video. We'll be using real hardware and we'll be using the old Dell Optiplex 390 as our testbed. And we have Windows 7 Professional already installed. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do know what the password is for this Windows 7 install as it is set to pass one, two, three, word. Uh, it really doesn't much matter because this method will let you change it to whatever you want. To begin, we'll need to shut this machine down. And uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be interrupting the Windows boot process. So that way we can uh, access the special uh, startup repair menu. So now that the computer is now rebooting, we will uh, wait for the Windows 7 splash screen. And when that comes up, we're going to hold down this power button and wait for it to shut back off. That will give us our uh, boot interruption. So we'll go ahead and reboot this machine again. And during this boot, we should get a uh, menu about the uh, startup repair. Uh, this method is pretty much the same between desktop and laptop. You may just have to pull the battery out and pull the AC power out. And this is the menu we're looking for, and we want to go ahead and launch the repair. Uh, this could take some time, so we'll fast forward through certain parts. So now that we're at the startup repair, it's uh, going to search for the problems, and it'll come up with a prompt window for us in a moment. And in this window right here, we want to go ahead and click cancel. And uh, it'll go ahead and attempt repairs. And this could take a while, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward through this. Now, this is the pop-up screen that we need. Uh, it may take a few times of the startup repair to get this pop-up. But uh, it says that it can't repair this computer, and uh, that's because we caused the problem. There's actually nothing wrong with Windows. So from here, what we want to do is we want to click on View Problem Details, and we want to scroll all the way to the bottom of this window. And we want to click on this hyperlink. That's the text file. So we'll click on that. And now that Notepad is open, we actually have full read-write privileges of the entire hard drive. So from here we want to open up file and select open. Now from here we want to change types of file to all files and go ahead and open up computer. Then go to local disk. We want to go to Windows and then we want to scroll down this list of folders and select System32. Now inside the System32 folder we're going to be looking for two files. We're going to be looking for the CMD file which is actually the command prompt file. We'll just keep scrolling down this way. There it is and what we want to do is we actually want to copy it and paste it right back in place. Now we'll just select names. And we'll select it one more time. All that did was just uh, bring our copy up next to the actual file. Now the next file we need to look for is actually the sticky keys file. And the name of this file is S E T hc right here now we're going to do the same thing with this file as well we're just going to right click it we're going to do a copy and then we'll do a paste we'll go ahead and select name and uh, we'll select it again just to get everything back in order now that we have both of our copies made we can go ahead and do some deleting and renaming first of all we need to delete the sticky keys original file delete 
and then we need to rename our command line copy to what the sticky keys was named. And we'll hit enter. And that's all we need to do in Notepad. So we'll go ahead and click cancel and we'll exit out of notepad and we will click don't send and we'll click finish. Now the machine will reboot and we will wait for Windows. Now that we're back at the Windows logon screen, we're going to go ahead and try to open our modified sticky keys file, which is now command prompt, by using the sticky keys keyboard shortcut and hitting shift five times. Now that we have our command prompt, we want to go ahead and enter in a few commands, and the first of which is net user. Now this command just brings up the users on the machine and we have our built-in administrator, our built-in guest, and our owner account. Now to change the password of any user, all you have to do is type in net user, the username, and the new password you want, all separated by spaces. So we'll go ahead and type that in. We'll use a new password and we'll just use 123. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And it tells us right here that the command completed successfully. Now that that's all done, we'll go ahead and close out our command prompt and try out our new password. We'll come down here and we'll type in 123 and hit enter. And as you can see, it logged us right in. And to show you something else is that we'll uh, also change the password again to something a little bit different. So we'll log out. We'll go ahead and hit our shift key five times again. And we will change the password again and we'll change it to uh, Windows this time. So we'll type net user, owner, and we'll type Windows. And that will be our new password. So we'll go ahead and enter on this. And it tells us again that the command completed successfully. We'll go ahead and get out of this again. We'll come down here and we'll try our original password, 123. We'll hit enter, and it does not work. So we'll click OK again, and we will try our new password, Windows. And it logs us right in. So that's how you change your Windows 7 password without any software or CDs. Knowledge is power.